Joining us here today on Primetime Local News is indie pop artist Michaela Slinger. Now, Michaela, I know we're talking today about your your new song, Makes You Sad, and I know you had a lot of high-end people and producers working on this song with you. So take us through that experience and what it was like to work with them and what ultimately the song ended up becoming. Yeah, um, I feel I feel really excited about this one. I think it was one of those songs where as soon as we wrote it and I was listening to the demo on the way home, I was like, wow, this... Like, it's one of those things you kind of listen to and you can't really believe that you were a part of it. It just sounds like something that already exists in the world. Um, so I feel really excited that it's out now because I've been sitting on it for over a year. I wrote it in, I guess, October of 2019. Um, and as you mentioned, with two of my mentors, uh, producers and co-writers who have supported me on my entire debut album with 604. So that's Kevy and Louise Burns. And the three of us, we were just most of the times that we worked together, I would bring a song that was pretty fully realized, like maybe on guitar, maybe I'd, I'd tracked it on GarageBand. But this one, we decided to just try a co-write kind of Nashville style. So the three of us get into a room, we don't have anything. And by the end of the day, we have something. And I played a couple of voice notes off my phone and we selected one and just kind of started riffing off of it from there. And it, yeah, it was just one of those sessions where everything is aligning. And I think we were all in a good headspace. We all were kind of really vibing with what the other people were doing and it came together quite quickly. So there's also the added sort of excitement for this one, especially it's like, I'm always excited when I put out my stuff, but knowing that Louise and Kevy both had so much investment and so much of their talent and energy poured into the song. It's almost like a, a three-way kind of shared celebration, which is really cool. You know, one thing I'm always curious about with other artists, Michaela, is how they've handled, you know, the quarantine and how they kind of keep their creative minds very sharp. Have you been pushing out some new stuff or working on some new stuff rather? And how have you been handling the quarantine really? Yeah, well, I think for the, the first time when lockdown started last March here, I was not very inspired to write and I wasn't really having ideas. And I think it's just because I'm a very extroverted person and I, I get a lot of my ideas from just being out in the world, interacting with people. So when I was not allowed to do that in any way, I was kind of like, what am I gonna write about? The view from my couch on day 60. So that was sort of a lull period, but I, I'm i not trying to be super hard on myself in terms of productivity because I do find that I, I love to write and that inspiration can come quite naturally. So it took a little bit of chill time um, and then in quarantine, I started this Instagram live series every Thursday when people were really locked down. So that was kind of my attempt to still maintain that connection that's so important to me when we couldn't be together. Um, and then I ended up doing a little outdoor acoustic tour in the summer. Obviously, we couldn't perform live and had to maintain social distancing. Um, so I just played at like outdoor small venues, a couple places on some of the Gulf Islands here in BC. Like one time I played at a, a farmer's market, but people kind of came and sat up chairs. So made do with what I could. And then I'd actually finished the recording of my debut album like the week before lockdown. So I had all these songs and we were trying to figure out a plan to release them. So most of COVID for me has looked like getting my team in place with the record label, um, getting a lot of other stuff together that I never really thought about as a new artist that you need to have, like all of the photos and the video content and being thoughtful about what you want to put out into the world because you only get to release a song once. Um, so now that's all kind of coming together and, and we're getting ready to release my album in April. With music videos, I know you got a few under your belt and for someone like yourself, is there a lot of say on how creative you get to be and make it the way that you want to make it? I, I definitely have a strong vision for what I want. And then I'm, I'm lucky that I get to collaborate with people who share that vision and elevate my vision. So for all of my music videos that I've done so far from the time I released my first single as an independent artist until now that I'm with 604 Records, I've worked with um, one of my best friends and my director, Miranda McDougall. So she's directed all of them. Um, and then two of my other really good friends, uh, Callum Gunn and Hank Hill, they have a content creation and media company here called East Cherry. So between the four of us, over time, we've developed this really amazing creative working relationship. So typically like an idea will start by Miranda and I going for a walk or for a run or a bike ride, just kind of talking about creative ideas. And then she'll go away and, and flesh it out on a storyboard and bring it to me and we'll all kind of workshop it and put it together. So it very much, it feels like mine, but it also feels like 
my initial ideas made better by the talent of other people who are better at videos than I am. <laughs> and lastly, for people to check out your new single, where can they go do so? Everywhere that you get your music online, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, all those places. Um, there's also a music video that's coming out on January 29th that I'm super, super proud of. I think it's really beautiful. I got to make it with some of my closest friends. So stay tuned for that on my YouTube. And I really love connecting with people who have kind of found my music or discovered me for the first time. So I'm on Instagram and Twitter and, and Facebook, uh, just under my name, Michaela Slinger. Well, Michaela, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us. Makes You Sad is now available on all major streaming platforms. Go check it out. Michaela, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks so much. Thanks for chatting. It was great to meet you.